start lock boxing. I do have lockpick kits at home too. What if they don't use picks? I will give you a lock with a key. Oh my god, look at our lounge. This is our VR lounge. If you are in the VR chat, you can join us and watch the show and play along. And I, I see a closet fox down there. And I see a Fuma down there. Is there a Fuma down there? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's all the way over. Oh, there he is. Now he's in the middle of the field. Now he's by the staircase. No, I just had two sitting here. There he is. He's on the left side now. Closet Fox has got some updates. He he was he apparently he updated his um Oculus and there were some new problems with it. If, if there's uh -huh. an issue with it, Closet. Hey Closet Fox. It looks like Closet he's Fox. <laughs> Hello. 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 Come on up to the camera. Tell us about are you problems that you were having with the Oculus. Were you having Were you having trouble with with an Oculus? Here he comes. I'll come up the camera. Can you? Okay. okay here we come go. up to the camera and tell us all about the Oculus problem. Yeah, something we should know since we do a lot of living in our VR lounge. Yeah. The chaos. Stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid. How did you just fly by comments? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it stupid? Yes! I want the clip. <laughs> Alright, so he's distracted by balloons. Anyways, apparently if, if you're having an Oculus issue, don't feel bad. A lot of people are having Oculus issues right now from the yeah. update. And Fuma, you're gonna be in St. Augustine Ooh. soon, aren't you? Oh my God. Come, come on up towards the happy solution here. <laughs> this is what we call the Chaos Lounge if you're just joining us. So Fuma, you're gonna you're gonna be visiting Florida to go to uh, Ancient City Con. If we can hear you. It's a local con. It's mostly anime and gaming convention, but it's uh. But they're gonna have some voices there, aren't they? And who's gonna be at Ancient City Con? Lots of voice actors. So Scooby Doo, voice Scooby Doo is gonna be there. And Fuma, when when is Ancient City Con? Uh, the seventh week of the seventeenth. The week of the seventeenth. So that's when? I'm, okay, in two weeks. I might head up there. Would you be interested in hooking up if I head up there? Up that way? What? Uh, yeah, I, said, can try to bring yes, a, I, can, I can try to bring a tiger costume. We can go for a suit for a little bit. Well, there you go. Cool. Nice. Oh no, Yemi's putting a lock on the freezer. I um, I, I, I might join you as well. If, depending on my schedule, I might join you as well. And Fuma, what city are you in? What's your home city? <laughs> In St. Augustine as well. Oh, I love St. Augustine. No, no, where is you, where do you live? What's your home city? Like, Coaster's in Washington. Where are you? He's in, he's Jacksonville. Jacksonville. All right. Okay, I have a lock for Toxie. Oh, I gotta get on back so we can... Yeah. All right. Hey, Coaster, I didn't know you were in Washington. That's gonna be so great to be able to see you. Are you gonna be able to join us at the Smithsonian? Or at least for a dinner. Sure, just let me know what, what Yeah, just let me know what dates. Nice. Um it'll be I'm in October ish. Sure, uh, <laughs> okay, I'm sure uh, um, mm -hmm. Zalno would like to see you guys as well. Oh my god, that'd be awesome to see Zalno. though. Wow, this is gonna be a neat little trip. Yeah. October ish, the time between yeah. January John... and December. <laughs> <laughs> John Hall, where are you from? I can't speak it. John Hall is from everywhere. No, John Hall, what's your home city? You got a Pikachu! Congratulations, Closet, that's great. Oh, you did get a Pikachu right there. Teach it self-destruct! Hold on, trying to hear where John's from. What? No! Make it blow up. Where? I think John Hall is from Texas. I think, I think he's like Detroit or somewhere up in the Midwest. Let's play Guess Where John Hall is From. He's from Arkansas, he said. Arkansas? What city in Arkansas? That was my second guess. Pikachu used Thunderbolt. It was super effective. What city, John? What, what no. town or city? In Little Rock? Now he sends out Super Toxie. Good Toxie. He has us muted. He has us muted. Oh, good, because we're annoying. 
Yeah. No, it's so he can hear the audio from the screen instead of from the audio from yeah. the people. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just can't hear phone. where he's from. I hear in Arkansas, but what's Hey, what's Jax. Now? Okay, now we can hear you. Go say what? What? Where are you from, John? I'm from um, Little Rock, Arkansas. Little Rock, okay. Arkansas. I've never nice. heard his voice before. Oh, that's an awesome Little voice. Rock. Yeah. Little Rock, Arkansas. Where's the disco ball fox in there? Hey, Ar closet Ar fox. Arkansas. Do you want to tell us your home city, or do you want to keep it a secret? He lives in Ohio, I think. Um, I believe he is Cleveland. I believe you're Cleveland, Ohio, correct? What is your home city? No, uh, Cincinnati. You're Cincinnati. Cincinnati, Ohio? Okay. Cincinnati. Cincinnati. I like the way he says it. Cincinnati. Where the chili is made. We all agree, Closet. After you're listening to your voice for about five minutes, your voice becomes your our own. thinking voice. Uh. I sense a threat. <laughs> your voice yeah, becomes the voice it's in like, our head. It's a, it's an earworm. Your voice is an earworm. I sense a great I threat hear, in the universe. As soon as I hear Closet Fox my voice, all I want to do is go, Ooh. Oh my god. KP just did a great Closet Fox impersonation. Did you hear that? Good, you can go imitate and pretend to be Closet Fox. Wait, what are they? Yes, we're awesome talking to him. Like and it leads voice. into, oh, I'm nothing but a good boy. No! Because Closet Fox is a good boy. So am I! No, no you're not. You ate Yappy's popsicle. Shut up. <laughs> Fox is a riot. What, 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 what closet? What closet? You want to be a lounge lizard? Or a lounge, a lot lizard? A lot. What is a lot lizard, Yappy? No! They, 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 they walk around truckers' uh, rest areas, okay. offering services to the poor, lonely, to the poor, lonely truckers. For how much? Oh, usually about fifty bucks. <laughs> that's a lot of money. That's a, that's a ton of money. That's cheap. Is it? I don't know. I've never paid for sex. I have yeah, no. Idea. no fifty bucks is like nineteen seventies. Now it's like a hundred. Wow. <laughs> Some businesses have low inflation, it seems. Thea's throwing some money out right now. Okay, okay, okay. Thea wants to be a lot lizard. Okay, Thea's, no, Thea's getting paid. <laughs> As we play Ho Silent Night, Holy Night in the background, <laughs> the show is effed up. I got nothing. <laughs> Where's the water bottle? Yeah, get that water bottle for Toxie's nose, right in the snout. What? That's horrible. There's people out in the yard. How do you get out there? Closet Fox, come back, come back. You can get out there if you hop the hop the footprints. Closet, if if you and I are at the same Christmas party, we could have a cookie baking contest. We could make Christmas cookies. There you go. He does not know how to bake. What we'll do is I'll bake the cookies and we'll decorate them with icing and you can do the icing part. Hi Secret, I see you back there and hi Shortcake. Campions here. Then everybody gets to eat them and we get to say we made these. So there's, there's a... Oh, we got a little, like a little party going on up there. Oh, up in the, up in the balcony. Everyone's just kind of chilling out. The game died. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess it's because of all the people, yeah. Let's go on up there. Hey, can we join you? Do you mind? <laughs> Guys, there's sure. some kind of like voyeur fox coming up the stairs. I don't know if we should be alarmed. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, show show me your goods. No, right oh, dude, stop it! He's, right? a, he's not that kind of fox. He he needs a water bottle. He needs a water bottle. I need some rice to go with all these. What's beans. down here? Mm. Oh my gosh! Dude. Beans and rice. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where is the rice to go with all the beans? Present the beans. Oh, Tyson calls you the sweetheart fox. <laughs> As a small gremlin. That gremlin works out a lot. She works. She spends a lot of time in the gym. She eats right. You can see by her figure. What is that? Who is that? Is Demon? 
That is Fur Demon. <laughs> Fur Demon. Fur Demon's avatar is very healthy. <laughs> solved it! Ajax has got glow sticks in his pouch. I solved the lock. <laughs> okay, you got them all. Yay! It's, it's, it's very weird. Only female kangaroos have pouches. That evil potato is here today. Hello? And that Warwick means I can get also. all the popsicles! Snake okay, is Dipper. Here. Soft we, we, we got here. you, Dipper, so we won't go back to the main camera just yet, so you're ready. Soft Boss is here. Oops. Do I need to scooch down? No, I will just. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the magic! Oh. <laughs> See, I love it when things go horribly you wrong. You there is so tired and magic. Hold on. <laughs> I totally wasn't paying attention at all. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Some people would be traumatized when, when you see someone beheaded. <laughs> Take your time, Dipper. Do what you gotta do. We got hours to kill. We're, we're fine. <laughs> Okay, well, there's some blue beans. We, speaking of blue, uh, we got some coasters blue beans. And we got some crotch. Oh, there we go. Am I Simba now? No, Simba. Coaster, how far away are you from, um, uh, say, Six Flags Great Adventure? That's in Maryland, I think, I'm probably at least 30, 45 minutes, maybe, maybe an hour. Not, not, a, not America, not Six Flags America. Six Flags Great Adventure, I believe that's up in New Jersey. Oh yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty far away from that. Pretty far away, okay, guys. Mm. I'm, I'm trying to talk Yappy into um, no stopping by their Halloween event. No. Be if you go, he'll go. No. Because, you know. So how far away from, like, downtown D.C. are you? Uh, 15 miles-ish. 15 miles? Okay. Well, Six Flags America does a, does a Halloween event, don't they? Virginia. So, Dipper, are you ready? Are you ready? You gonna give me a nod? Are you ready, buddy? Give us a thumbs up if you're good to go. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here it comes. We're gonna, find them. We're gonna try to figure out what's going on. So you take a break, and we'll try to find some of those. Trees. I got more questions. Oh my questions. God, that fox's head has been ripped I, I, around backwards. And, uh, my oh, look away, look away. Okay, go. sorry, you're good. You're good. And the other video is the complete match game from the Popette crew. Got it. That's been edited together. If Yappy feels like showing the last half of it, he can because it is a, a longer video, but I think we showed the first half of it, so you can show the, the second half. Oh, Cream Pup is actually in our cast lounge right now. Hello, Cream Pup. Look at all the trees walking around. We got a lot of trees for some reason. It is chaos in there. They're walking oh, they need some fresh air in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they're getting a lot of nice fresh they need to, carbon monoxide. They need some photo, no, photosynthesizing. Carbon dioxide into oxygen. <laughs> We've got Doc Brown's time machine DeLorean in there right now. <laughs> oh, that'll be from our uh, Twitch chat. Nice. What studio camera? Go for the studio camera. Hello. Oh, we got a new friend. Hello. Reed Blower. Reed Blower. Hello, Reed Blower. How are you? There's a tree. There's a tree. No, we have a tree. We got a tree and a chair. Now you got wood. Hey, Mr. We got a wood. tree and a chair. <laughs> I don't know. We got a new friend. I think we should uh, say hi to our new. We got a couple new friends. Who's this over here? Interesting. Ajax, hold still. I'm gonna see your new friend. That's his camera. Oh, that's his camera. Never mind. I thought he had a new friend. <laughs> All right, if someone would not mind dropping the Would You Rather floor down, we're going to play a little game in our, in our Chaos Lounge. We'll see which tree gets to the end first. <laughs> yes, that's the Would You Rather. It's just going to be choosing one or the other. Oh, we'll see if we can create a forest on one side. See, we're going to see what we got in common as far as uh, what we like, what we think, how we feel. All the trees need to get on one side real quick. 
Get over to the A side. All the trees, including the one that's all sitting there. Okay, trees. All the trees in the A side, even though we have one without any leaves on it. Uh oh, it's naked. It's naked. We have a naked tree. Look away, look away. All right, we have to have all the trees get ready to run. All right, run, forest, run! Run, forest, run! Oh my god! Where is the pun? Uh, you know what? I've always wanted to see a tree parade. Who wants to lead the parade and just kind of march everyone around? I, I'm, I'm just imagining the destruction as like the pavement there you go. ripped up ahead. Okay. And it's cracking. Look, that tree is doing somersaults. It's a very athletic tree. It's in good shape. Did you just see like green and white feathers, or is it something else? No, All right. Just see, yes, sir. All right, we have to take this next game very seriously. So let's get into our avatars. All right. <laughs> and we're going to do some really rather. Now, these are questions that have been brought up from our, our uh, Discord. And, of course, mm -hmm. our Twitch chat. You're more than welcome to throw in some as well. And we will be happy to uh, ask them. And we're going to learn about each other right now. As a matter of fact, Reverend Howler is going to kick us off with a question. He wants to know, would you rather wear sneakers or boat shoes? Sneakers or boat shoe? What is a boat shoe? It doesn't sound very comfortable. It doesn't. I would say sneakers because I don't know what a boat shoe is. It's a basic leather shoe. Oh, so something formal. Okay, well, we'll do that. Would you rather wear sneakers or a really nice pair of formal shoes? All fancy? Well, it, depends on, it depends on where I'm going, to be honest. You're going anywhere you want to go. Because, like, the, 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 the sneakers sneakers and sports shoes are comfy, like, I have to do a lot of walking. But if, like, if I'm going to, like, a formal dinner or something, I'm going to dress to the nines. So I'm going to wear leather shoes. Okay, how about this? If you're just going to the mall, if you're just going to the mall, would you rather wear sneakers or Crocs? Now, oh, sneakers. I don't I'm know anyone, Crocs. I've never worn a Croc, but everyone I know who wears Crocs swears by them. I, I've I never met anyone Crocs. who's actually worn a Croc and didn't like it. I'm curious to try one on someday. Anything that shows my toes is not going on me. I do not like exposed toes. All right, so Seven would rather wear some Crocs. He's all about the comfort. And so does uh, Castillo. Castillo wants to wear some Crocs. Cast Castillo. 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 All right. What's the next question? Okay, the next question. Looking down our list here. Let's see if there's anything else in our area here. And of course, you can ask. You can answer the questions in our in our Twitch chat as well. So I'm gonna grab one here from the Discord. Would you rather? And I hope we didn't ask this one already. Would you rather be in a a, hot and dry climate, or B, cold and humid climate? Would you rather be A, in a hot and dry climate, or B, in a cold and humid climate? Me, hot and dry. I would go hot and dry. Well, I'm going to say cold and humid. I'm just going to say cold and humid. Yeah, cold and humid. Cold for me is bad. Yeah. Neither one is preferred. <laughs> But if I had to choose, okay, it looks like we're pretty much 50-50 on this one, right down the middle. Some people would rather have hot and dry like Las Vegas, cold and humid like New England. Okay, Fuma's asking, would you rather have pickles on a pizza or bananas on a pizza? A, pickles on your pizza, B, bananas on your pizza. I'm, I'm going for pickles. I've never had either. Um... I don't know if what bananas if, would... I don't know. What about ban pickled banana peppers? It, no, that's not... The question is... Bananas and pizza. Do you want to modify the question? Banana peppers? Well, no, because I mean, I know a banana... I know bananas, but I've never... Bananas would be like pineapple. Well, what would you rather try? Have you ever had pickled pizza? I, I have never had pickles on All pizza. Alright, so if you wanted to try one, if you have a pickle in front of you or a banana pizza in front of you, which one would you reach for? It depends. Is it the only thing? Or it's the only two things in front of you. There's no water, there's no crackers, no, no, no. there's no bread. Is there anything else on the pizza? Is it just a cheese pizza? Cheese with and pickles or cheese and bananas? I'd, I'd probably do the pickles. Pickles A, B, bananas. Okay, we got some people who are pretty adventurous. They want to try these bananas. Coaster wants to try a banana. Lorik wants to try a banana. And over here, Sisu sticks with the pickles, and so does uh, I like the idea of on pizza, but. 
bananas, I'm not sure if they cook when they're cooked, what they're gonna do. If our tree wouldn't mind banana. switching back to an avatar so we can see who else is playing, because right now you're kind of blocking the view of the camera. But you can yeah. switch back into that fun tree sooner after that. Okay. All right, Odegaard Magoo. There we go. C says, I haven't read this one yet, so forgive me. Um, would you rather A, make the most of it and survive until help comes? Okay, okay, you're stranded on a desert island. Uh-huh. You're stranded on a, on a food-rich tropical island. You're stranded on a food-rich tropical island. Would you rather A, make the most of it and survive until help comes, or B, work to get off? the island yourself so basically you have all the food you want on this island would you rather stay on it and eat for free all the food you want or want to leave this island that's a tough question yeah so here's here are the variables you've got all the steak you get all the pizza you get all the fruits and veggies you, you can eat and kind of basically live for free on this island. However, because it's an island, you run the risk of a, a bad storm coming or well, you know, you get that in Florida. Gonna <laughs> you're going to be all alone and nobody to talk to. Well, I don't think it says anything about alone. It just says food. So basically it's like having, there's nothing but free golden corrals all over the place. And you stay on this island, but you can't well, leave he it. He said stranded, which uh, to me would make me think you're by yourself. Oh, stranded to me is you just don't leave. How do how do you take stranded? By, by yourself or you just can't leave? With with stranded on an island, I would say you could have other people around, but there yeah, there is no way to leave. And it, it, to me, that also indicates like you're like Gilligan's Island. Right. You you you're, you're always gonna find something to eat. <laughs> Closet wants to get the heck out of there. I would have to explore too. I would want to get the heck out of there. I would go stir crazy after a while. So I'm with Closet. Closet and I are going to go explore. But everyone else just wants all that free golden corral. You'd be in, you'd be in an island paradise, but you wouldn't be able to do anything there. Um, let's see. Fuma has got a question. Okay. Fuma wants to know. Would you rather have a hundred percent chance at a million dollars, or a fifty percent chance at five million dollars? Deal or no deal? A a hundred percent chance at a million dollars, or a fifty percent chance at five million dollars? A or B? <laughs> How greedy are you? <laughs> It's like that TV show who wants to be a millionaire or uh, no deal. Yeah, or no deal, deal or no deal. Very deal or no it's, deal. It's a it's a game, not a it's not a game so much of luck. It's a game of greed. John Hall says all or nothing. He wants all five million dollars and he's willing to throw it all on the line. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do this right now. We're gonna flip a coin. Okay, everyone on the fifty percent side, if it lands on A or heads, you're gonna win five million. If it lands on B, you've just lost it all. We're gonna do it right now. Flip a coin. It's heads! You all win five million dollars. Everyone on B right now just won five million dollars. And then all of on A, you got a million dollars. Congratulations. You would have got five million dollars if you went over to B like John Hall. And Campion. Campion's getting paid. Campion's ready. He's gonna he's gonna treat everybody out to dinner. Like I said, you can't lose with a million dollars. You can't lose with a million dollars. That was a fun question. I forgot. Okay. Okay, um, would you rather A, have Kraft Mac and Cheese or B, ramen noodles? Would you rather have A, Kraft Mac and Cheese or B, ramen noodles? The bag. The bag of, not the proper, real ramen noodles. I can doll them up. I can put sauces on them. You can do what you want. You can do what you want. Craft dinner or a ramen noodle? Craft dinner with buffalo chicken sauce. Mm, there you go. <laughs> all right, a lot of people are 50-50 on this one. Isn't that a Canadian thing? But Fuma's all about some ramen noodle. Give me some ramen noodles, says Fuma. 
Snake, he wants some mac and cheese. I don't know, that's a tough one. I would have to go mac and cheese myself. I do love me some ramen, but I'm on a, a mac and cheese kick. All right, here's a question for all you guys. Okay. Uh, Joma Wolf in chat says uh, Kraft. He wants Kraft mac and cheese. So does T'Chal. All of you have the ability to turn into your your persona or your preferred persona. Mm -hmm. However, nobody else in the world will. Do you a choose oh to do it and deal with the consequences of looking the way you do and being treated the way you would? You would be a freak. Humans, or would, be a side would, you decline, would you decline the opportunity to do it? Not only that, but if you go to a con, you're getting raped. <laughs> The question is, you can turn into your persona, but nobody else in the world can do the same. You will be the only one that looks that way. Do you know how much you drama you you're going to get? Yeah. Do you, A, go ahead and do it, knowing how the rest of the world is going to treat you for the rest of your life? And the fandom. Or, or B, do you decline the opportunity? Mind you, all... Five, ten thousand furries are gonna to want to be your best friend, and if you're not your their best friend, you will get dragged through the mud all the way. What is it? Final answer. Okay. The closet's like, give me that. Give it to me. Give it to me now. Alfie's like that. Closet doesn't want to. Uh, Ghoster doesn't want to deal with the drama. Uh, neither does Shortcake. Doesn't want to. Fuma's like, screw that crap. Let me just pretend. Secrets also screw that. But everyone else is like. It's not just, it's not just the drama. You also have some people that are going to run a run into you and constantly pet you even if you don't want to be touched. You're going to get a lot of inappropriate touching at the cons. You yeah, might even get kidnapped. Grocery store. You, you have to go to bed. I'm made by choice. I'm made by choice. No, no gives these backsies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sisu says, would you rather A, be a rodeo clown, or B, be a circus clown? A, a rodeo clown, or B, a circus clown? Circus clown. Rodeo clowns smell bad. Rodeo clowns are dangerous. You could get killed as a rodeo clown. Oh, come on, Closet. <laughs> Closet wants to be a wee clown. <laughs> All right. Look at like everybody's pretty much for um, circus clown. It's a little safer. Good question though. Lazy Wolf asks, would you rather never have tacos again, or only eat tacos forever? Would you rather a never eat a taco again, or b only eat tacos forever? A or b? I'd be A, because that would involve giving up steak, giving up pizza, giving up Chinese. Yeah, I'd, gi I'd give up tacos and take on burritos. <laughs> <laughs> you found a loophole here. No more soft tacos. I would not be able to give up pizza. No more, no more soft, soft uh, supreme tacos. Uh, not only that, you're, yeah. you're saving yourself from a heart attack. Yeah, yeah. Not, not willing to give up pizza and have tacos forever. All right. Um, and for some people, that also means no sushi ever again. All right, Sisu is coming back with one more. Would you rather A, be a clown, or B, be a mime? A, be a clown, or B, a mime? Oh, a clown, because mimes just get their ass kicked. Yeah, clowns get run from. Clowns scare children. Yeah, but mimes are just annoying. And, and where's the downside of that? Yeah, where would you rather be, frightening or annoying? Frightening or annoying? Frightening. I'd rather be frightening. Walk around with a little red balloon. You have less of a chance of getting your ass kicked. We all float down just run away here. From you, but I wouldn't mind being all right, Closet, what's your answer? Closet wants to be a clown. <laughs> we all float down here. We all float down here, <laughs> All right. All right, we got a couple of... Uh, now, now we're going to slightly switch the idea here. We're still going to do A and B, but we're going to come up with some fighting options. And now okay. we're really going to rely on our Twitch chat to throw out some concepts here. And I've got two starters for you. Who would you want to win in a fight? Who would you want to win in a fight? A, Bob Ross, or B, Mr. Rogers. Who do you want oh, to win? Or who do you think would win? Who do you think would win? A, Bob Ross, or B, 
Mr. Rogers, if they had to duke it out in a ring, who would win? Who would win? It would be Mr. Rogers, because he used to swim every morning. Bob Ross just got high off turpentine. Uh, now, Mr. Rogers used to swim every morning, but didn't Bob Ross serve in the Army? or the? Uh, yeah, he was a drill sergeant. He was a, he was actually in, in the armed forces, so he had some battle training. So I'm going to go Rogers? Bob Ross. Yeah, wasn't Mr. Rogers also in the military? Though? I don't think so. I think that was Bob Ross. Bob Ross was military. Mr. Rogers was just very well maintained. He just had really, he was in really good shape. He was also vegetarian. Yeah. <laughs> Colossus just wants them to hug. Yeah. All right. Who do you think, would, who, would, who would win between these two? A, Herman Munster, or B, Gomez Adams? Because Gomez Adams is psychotic. Oh, uh, Beach Bear says Gomez. Yeah. Herman Munster is just strong and big. Gomez, though, is psychotic. He would find interesting ways to win. Right. Zoro says Gomez also. We also need some questions from our, our Twitch chat. Come on, hook us up. All right. There's our answers. Looking 50 50. All right, here's another one. Who would win in a fight? Nick Wilde, A, or Robin Hood, B. Who would win in a fight? Oh, Nick Wilde, A. I don't know. Nick Wilde, he lives on the streets. He's got street fighting skills. Robin Hood, he's got a bow and arrow and a sword. But he also is like, he's super stealthy, so he can jump around and like, he's almost got ninja skills. See now, but in a street fight, in a battle, you wouldn't have your weapons. So can Robin Hood hold his own against a street fighter? I think with his ninja skills, like he could jump around. <laughs> Robin Hood has ninja skills? Yeah! He was trained by ninjas. All right, well, it looks like it's pretty unanimous, except for Campion and Closet. Campion and Closet are going Nick Wilde, but everyone else, Robin Hood will kick. Uh, Nick Wilde ass. Keep your name out of his mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Closet. You're amazing. Keep your name out of his mouth. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Zoro wants to know, what would you rather have? Strawberry quick? Or chocolate Both quick. Tough, a oh, strawberry quick. or B chocolate no. quick. If you put banana quick on there, I'd be all No banana. Bananas, but... You don't get no strawberry. banana. A strawberry. strawberry quick or B banana. This is from Zorro. Oh, between strawberry and banana? Yes. Uh, no, bananas. strawberry and chocolate. That's what yeah. Strawberry so chocolate. Strawberry. Nobody's saying banana. I haven't had quick in forever. A strawberry all the way. I usually use Hershey chocolate. I don't use quick. Bunny, bunny ears up. <laughs> All right, T'Challa's got a question. Who would be a better lover, Morticia or Lily Munster? A, Morticia or B, Lily Munster? And Closet wants nothing to do with this question. I think Morticia. You don't have to make love to her. You just have to guess which one would be better. Definitely Morticia. I'm thinking Morticia would yeah. be, because she's she, very, she's how she, she speaks she French. Look Gomez. All she has to do is talk French and he starts going berserk. She's, huh? she's very horny. Oh, yeah. And she, she's already dead, so I mean, mm. All right, here's a good one. Uh-huh. Who, who would win in a magic battle? Magic Samantha battle. Stevens or Genie? So those, that's me. Ooh, that's Samantha, a genie from Aladdin? No, genie. Genie, I dream of genie. Oh, I dream of genie, okay. Who is more powerful, Samantha from Bewitched or a genie from I dream of genie? I think Samantha's got the smarts that would make her win. They both screw up, though, enough more than they succeed. Okay. All right, I dream of genie seems to be the popular one. Although genie can't, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. <laughs> Alright, with that, since we're on the magic trick, I'm gonna go, and since we never really got an answer from the film, I'm gonna throw this out there. Who would win in a fight? A, Doctor Strange, or B, um, Wanda? Who would win in a fight? A, Doctor Strange, or B, Wanda? Now, we never really had the ending of that fight in the movie, because she got diverted by her kids. Wanda. No, no. He Scarlet change. Witch B or Doctor Strange A. I think I'm thinking Doctor Strange would eventually. No. I'm thinking Doctor Strange. 
Wanda's good, but she's a little too chaotic. She's got no... She's just too all over the place. Yeah. She's like me. She's like me. She, she works too emotionally, where Doctor Strange works a little bit more. You know, systematically. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go to. All right, so there's our answers. Thank you, everyone, for playing. Would uh, this or that or whatever that we just did. Epic battle. Epic battle. I'm done. Okay. Oh, look at look at it. Oh, I think our friends here are trying to tell us something. Hey, Fuma. The, 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 Look, it's Boots with the hose! I, I had two cans of sardines for dinner when we were watching Atkiller rebuild his parts, and I put the uh, the Hellfire sauce on him, and I liked it. But Toxie took one little taste of that hot sauce, and he was a pussy. He cried. What? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I just said it was really bad, and it lingers for a while. So, so the... I mean, it tasted good, but the burning, like, just stayed with you for, like, ten minutes. And I just so, so the hot, the health, the, uh, the hellfire sauce is, like, more than half gone now, because I like putting it on my sardinis. Maybe you should put a hellfire sauce on your on your um, popsicles. No. Yeah, we were talking about making popsicles out of hot sauce. Yeah. <laughs> There's more boobies in the in the chat there, and Shadow's checking out the boobies. Now, just to be sure, we're not going to be here next week, correct? You guys are going on your North Carolina. Cor next correct. We have not a traditional show. Um, Toxie might have Toxie and Fuma might team up and, and do a takeover. Who knows? There's so many options. Yeah, that'd be nice. Chances are something's still going to happen to keep you entertained. But it's, not, it's, but it's not going to be the standard show because it won't. It won't be a Twitch. It will be like in Discord or something. Only Oni might host something in the in the Chaos Lounge. Uh, Toxie might host something on the, the and, Discord. And will you be gone for one week or two weeks? Just, just one. Just one. But we're taking off. For for two weeks in October. Yeah, then that's that's the trip that we're gonna go visit Coast and Trimatsi and Wonder Dog and whoever else. Whoever else. <gasps> so what we're gonna do now, since you all probably want to do a little bit of a Never Have I Ever, why don't we all get set up? So it's no longer trees driving around in the Chaos Line. It's now a DeLorean. No, that's not a DeLorean. Is that a DeLorean? No, that's not a DeLorean. What is that? It's like a Supra. The, uh, yeah. It's in it's the like car from, um, uh, uh, dude. Initial D? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All righty. Get over there, people. Everyone, line it up. Line it up. And also, we're keeping an eye on you as well, Twitch chat. So if you um, are stepping forward, keep a little track. Do a little honesty track of what number you would be on. Because uh, you might win. You might win yourself. All right. Now, the first question up from Fur Demon is, never have I ever weighed over 200 pounds. Have you ever weighed over 200 pounds? Step forward. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, I'm a little fatty. <laughs> I'm a big fat fatty. Hey, okay, Pockets has a question. Pocket Ducks or Bronson. He asks, never have I ever worn spandex. Have you ever worn spandex? Step forward. Spandex. 200 pounds in spandex. Oh, you got my attention. How about 300 pounds in spandex? Uh, yeah, okay. I'm still, I'm still watching. I'm still looking. That's sausage roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. King Caldera asks, never have I ever prank called someone. Have you ever done a prank call on someone? Step forward. Uh, no. Yeah, Only oh, the telemarketers. Hmm. I'll fuck with the telemarketer all day because they can't hang up. I don't know about this one. This is a strange one from Fuma. Is this a thing? Okay, Fuma asks, never have I ever worn white after Labor Day. Oh, yes, that is a thing. What is that thing? This is a new it's, thing. It's like me. one of those old uh, wives' tale traditions. That you can't wear white after Labor Day. Now, how far after Labor Day? Uh, until like the like, like Memorial Day. It's like a, a a winter thing. 
You can't wear white in winter. So all the way through next summer, you can't wear white? Yeah. Wow, okay. What kind of weird religious cult is this? And it's not religious, that's just like a, a wives' tale. Is it bad luck if you wear bad white? Bad luck thing, yeah. Oh, well that explains our lives. All right. Does that include white socks and underpants? No, no, no. Just the, the outside, the outside of your outfits. All right, this is a weird role. Back in the day, All right. white was the most common color for clothes because it is easier to clean. Yeah. All right. No, but it's the e easiest to get dirty too. Yeah. Oh, with bleach, it's easier to clean it up. I didn't have bleach back then. Fuma also asks, "Never have I ever been to a hurricane party? Have you ever been to a hurricane party?" Like, hey, we're gonna, we're all gonna die. Might as well hang out together. I brought the chips. <laughs> Sorry, I'm back. I've never been to a hurricane party, but I've ridden out many hurricanes. You've ridden out a hurricane, yeah. Yeah, I've ridden out many of them. Have you ever had a friend come over and hang out during this ride out? I, I have had friends come over, but it wasn't really a hangout. It was they were evacuating. They didn't have any well, you remember go. Charlie? We had a uh, uh, cooner over, we and, did. We, and we and we we cowered in the hallway over here because it was the middle of the house and it was the most secure. Yeah, that was scary. Like, well, it's coming. That's when the tree in the backyard got ripped out. Oh That's the tree in my shed. Your shed down too. The yeah, well, I remember you looked out in the before it started. You looked out to see how bad it was, and then we kind of hung out until it passed, and then you looked again, and that whole tree is now missing. Yeah. Well, and so was my shed. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, yeah that was pretty scary. During Charlie, uh, that's when I was living with Chad, and uh, when the eye passed right over us, everything got real quiet, and he wanted to open the door to see what was going on. I was like, don't do that. The eye's gonna pass really quickly. He opened the door, and you could see the eye wall coming down the street, and he closed it just as we watched through the window, a bunch of the soffits getting sucked up from the from under the uh, the eaves. I was like, I told you, go back inside, stay there. All right, Fred's got one, what you got, Fred? All right, step forward if you've ever taken a whiz off the balcony or out of a window. If you've ever peed out of a window or off of, off of a balcony, Step forward. I would not be stepping forward on this one. I, I, I'm stuck on nope, two, actually. Well, we'll have to do it at the Christmas so party so you can put it on your checkout list. No, no, gross. Check no, we don't need to do this. We don't need to do this. We, we don't want Shy getting in trouble. No, at the Christmas party. No, I'll get in trouble. All right, I got one, though. What do you got? I got a good one. Never have I ever attended a proper British tea party. A proper British tea party. Whoa, we've got two. Three. Four. Five. A legit one. Anari John Hall has, of course, been to a proper British tea party. Yeah, tea, little cake. He's classy like that. Um, Ajax, I thought you moved forward also. Did you move forward on this one? I did not see boots move forward. Boots, we're gonna have to do it. No. Yeah, as far as I know. I have, I have the proper tea set. Gotta do it. I've been to their party, but there was no tea at the party. All right, Lazy Wolf asks, never have I ever been without power for multiple days after a storm. Have you ever been without power for multiple days after a storm? <laughs> Just a couple of months ago. That's true. A storm of 97. 2003. Hurricane Alicia in 1982 or 83, and then Hurricane Charlie over a week. All right. Reverend Howler in the Twitch chat says, yes, he has. And it sucks. All right. Lazy Wolf also asked, never have I ever eaten something as an adult that never. Stop eating something as an adult that you ate when you were a kid. What did you eat all the time when you were a kid that you've never had as an adult? If you've ever done that. If you've just cut something out of your diet just because for whatever reason, step forward. Yeah, grape tang. Grape tang. Okay. Now, if you step forward, shout out what that food is that you have not had as an adult. I cannot handle sour sweets now. Raw carrots and raw hot dogs. Okay. Watermelon. Watermelon. Someone's never had watermelon as an adult, but all the time as a kid. And, and I don't remember the last time I ate Vienna sausage either. You know what? I was just about to say Vienna sausage mustard sandwich. I've never eaten one as an adult, but I've had them all the time when I was a kid. Well, you shoot. I've given you Vienna sausages, but not with mustard in a sandwich. 
Oh, I thought you cut the piano sausage in half and put mustard on it. We gotta, we gotta fix that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never have I ever waltzed with someone. Toxie's snoring. Oh, no. Never have I ever waltzed with someone. <laughs> waltzed with someone. I have not. I have not. <laughs> Calling your ass out. Meet me outside, he said. Meet me outside. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Gonna go. He's calling you outside the parking lot. He's gonna wipe you out. No, you're yeah. saying you use the CPAP. I made room. I made room so that the I didn't take space up on the screen. And you guys <laughs> there, there was three people on the screen, so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna Meet move off outside. the screen. And oh, you guys no. can pull me like that. I'm gonna go lay on the couch now. So many <laughs> excuses. Fuma said. Never have I ever made your own smoothies or milkshakes. Have you ever made your own smoothie oh, yeah. or milkshake? I have. We gotta get Toxie a smoothie maker. No, a slushy maker. Slushy maker. All right. Um, Secret says, "Never have I ever gotten road rash." Did we ask that one already? I don't know. So. Have you ever gotten road rash? Nope. I've gotten that. It hurts. I've not. I've skinned my knee, but that's not road rash. Yeah, I've laid down my bike once. All right. He also asked, never have I ever had bread with the crusts cut off. If you've ever had bread with a, a sandwich with a crust cut off, I think every child. Well, we got an Inari, a Fred, a John Hall, and a Lorik. All right, well, all that, on the front row. That's all the first win. That's all the first prize winners. We're gonna look for second and third. How about this one? Okay. Never have I ever had a New York egg cream. A what? A New York egg cream. I don't know what that is, but go ahead. They come from Brooklyn. They're essentially a creamy ice cream soda. It's like an ice cream soda with a hit of milk or cream in it. Roots? Do you get those in back alleys? Or... <laughs> I love this man. You can get them in any, any, restaurant, any restaurant in Brooklyn will have them. When you go to Isn't New York, try an egg cream. Mm. That's right. Is that a frap? Have, no, they don't have egg in them. It's a, it's a, it's a creamy version of an ice cream soda. Okay. It's, it's an ice cream. It's a chocolate ice cream soda with a little bit of milk. Okay, we gotta get to do these questions. We got lots of questions to go. Yep, yep. All right, never have I ever. This is from Secret. Never ever ever made a cereal-based <laughs> snack mix, like a Ziploc bag full of Check cereal. Mix. Check Check mix. mix. Yep. All right, Boots has done it. Who else we got? Shadow's done it. Fur Demon's done it. All right, there we have our first, second, and third prize winners. Anyone in our Twitch chat? We have any winners in the Twitch chat? Chicken dinners. Chicken dinners. Okay, everyone, back to the start. We're gonna do this again. We got a bunch of questions to grip through. Beast back Bears never made it. Toxie's a cutie. Toxie's a cutie. Oh, Toxie's a cutie. Okay, that works. What okay, here's here's some, here's some here's some here's some here's some bad uh dad jokes by uh um, well, well we're not done with the question set. Because he just started a new one. Okay, go ahead. What kind of car does a furry drive? A Subaru. What? Uh, you know the hardest thing about being a furry cannibal? It's a doggy dog world out there. Oh uh, <laughs> what's black and white and red all over? A skunk who parent found out who found their Twitter. <laughs> or panda. Or panda. If your fetish is chickens, does that make you hen uh, a hentai enthusiast? <laughs> oh, uh, nice. What's a furry's favorite file type? A dart roar. Oh. What do you call a hippie's wife? Mrs. Hippie. <laughs> yes. How do you know you are dating a furry? Wait until they show their true colors. Uh, what's the same? What's the same between a bike and a duck? They both have pedals except for the duck. That's quality closet. Come on. There are two wolves inside of you. But I'm not sure to. Uh, but I'm not here to slut shame. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, my. 
Beware challenging death to a pillow fight. Unless you want repercussions. Repercussions. Uh, <laughs> cushions. No, it's a re repercussions. Reaper cushions. Yeah. Repercussions. Reaper cushions. Repercussions. Reaper yeah. cushions. This is not a joke. We love you at Kalar. Yes! That is so not and funny. And Boots is, Boots is awesome. Thank you, Boots is awesome. Thank you. All right. Before we go, I got one joke for you, uh, specifically for Boots. We're not going. We're just finishing the games. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Boots. What do you? What does a horse say when he trips and falls on the floor? There's no future in it. What does a horse say when he falls on the when he trips and falls on the floor? Hey. I've I've fallen and I can't giddy up. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. Oh, okay, kiddo, you got it, Fred, just for you. All right, here we go. And also, our Twitch chat, play along on this one. All right, real quick, from Fuma. Never have I ever let kids play games on my phone. Have you ever given your phone to a kid to let them play games? Uh, closet's a no. Don't touch my phone with those booger snot fingers. Not games where I made them had them watch TV or YouTube. There's no phone. My phone is in adult mode. Adult mode. All right. Fuma also asks, never have I ever run a 10-minute mile. It's like a mini marathon. A 10-minute mile. Have you ever done a 10-minute mile? Nope. Oh, a couple of Fred Betterhead has. You health nut. You're so healthy. Shadow did in elementary school. How about never have I ever swum a mile? Have you ever swam a mile? I think I did. I've done that for, for college. I did that. It was part of the of the scuba diving uh, training. It took an hour, but I did it. All right, next question, Mike. Never have I from Lazy Wolf. Never have I ever shown a non-furry coworker your fursuit. Have you ever shown a non-furry co-worker your fursuit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Next one. Never have I ever donated blood or plasma. If you've ever donated blood or plasma, step forward. Long time ago counts. All right. Fuma's asking, never have I ever made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on something other than sandwich bread, like a hot dog bun or crackers or something like that. You do peanut bread. You could do a hot dog bun. You could do it's a hamburger bun. Desperate PB and J. Mm -hmm. All right. How about just between your fingers? That's what I'm saying. Just to grab it, just peanut butter on one finger, jelly on the other. Or a spoonful, I've done a spoonful of peanut butter and jelly. All right, Fuma asks, never have I ever spent more than $10 on a cup of coffee. If you've ever spent more than $10 on like a super frappuccino wacka wacka, you know, some, something crazy from Starbucks. Nope. Dusky says, never have I ever been roller skating at a roller rink. Have you ever been old school roller skating at a roller rink? Done. Been there, done that. In other words, you're old. Got the, got the butt bruises to prove it. All right. Never have I ever given a stripper a dollar or more. Have you ever given a stripper a dollar? You know, college life is a thing. Things to do. Now do the opposite. Never have I ever received a dollar for stripping. <laughs> have you been have you been given a dollar, Boots? If you've been given a dollar, you can step forward. And I've got a dollar for you when I see you. All right. Secret says, never have I ever given money to a street performer. Have you ever given money to a street performer? Step forward. Oh, we're getting up there. All right, Inari is rocking it. He's pushing forward quick. All right. How about never have I ever bought a present for myself, but told my friends I bought it for someone else? 
Oh, no, no. Have you ever bought something for yourself, but you told all your friends, nope, I bought it for a friend? Why do you gotta shame us like that? No, no. I don't buy stuff like that. <laughs> all right, Lazy Wolf. Whoa, wait, sorry. Okay, Lazy Wolf says, never have I ever bowled a 300 game. Have you ever bowled a 300 game? Step forward. Boots has done it. John Hall has done it. We've got our first place winners. We're going to look for a, a two, second and third. 277, but not a 300. Having the bumpers up does not Dang. count. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Pocket Ducks says, never have I ever passed out in fursuit. Never have I ever passed out in fursuit. Oh, I do that all the time. Just fall asleep. All right, Nari's done it. Um, all right. Never have I ever spent more than $250 on one clothing item. Okay. Shoes, jacket. Does the fursuit count? No, it has to be regular clothing. We have. I'm sure right. Boots. I'm sure Boots is one of those fine dressers that goes and buys buys those. Uh, you know, those uh, thousand dollar three piece suits. <laughs> okay. Hey, we're going to wrap up these questions here. Never have I ever bought an item at a charity auction. Step forward. If you've bought an item at a charity auction, step forward. Okay. Lorik has done that. And he's now at the winner's circle. And Boots was in there second. John Hall was there first. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I want to see John Hall bowl at 300. <laughs> Dusky Shine says, "Never have I ever fallen asleep during a movie. Have you fallen asleep oh, during the damn time. like you went out and you woke up at the end? Not nodded off, but just fallen asleep <laughs> during a movie. Pretty man waking up going, is it over? <laughs> I fell asleep during um, episode one, Star Wars, because it was the one o'clock in the morning movie, and I was wiped out. Oh, okay. And I, and I went right out. <laughs> yeah. It was boring movie too. Mm -hmm. so All right, right. last three, two, or actually last two. Otakon Magoo says, never have I ever lied on a job application to get hired. Have you ever lied on a job application to get hired? I think everyone has. It's just called a resume. <laughs> It's called a resume. I've never lied, but I always embellish it. I always right. make it sound much better. Demon and Shadow has. And the final question, also from Odegon. Never have I ever sat in a chair my pet was on. Oh, no, you sat on your pet. Have you ever sat on your pet by accident? <laughs> Step forward. Yeah, I've actually done that. But I had a cat. I've been in the chairs or off my pet in my lap. Oh, really you'll be reminded very quickly. Balls, All right. Oh, he just jumped right off and looked at me. Very okay, good. Let's get everybody. All right, everybody. Let's get everybody to take a picture. Group shot time. Group Everyone shot stand time. in the back. We're going to get a group shot. Picture time. Picture time. Boots, get over here. And if Boots, someone is. If someone's really good at taking a screenshot, no, please it. upload it. Okay, we got it. We got this. Make, make sure we can see everybody. So if you're taller, please move a little bit further to the back. Yeah, technically, if you can't see the camera, <laughs> Boots is at a frozen jump. Yay! Everybody back to get up, up, up! Wake up, Blaze. Blaze, get over there. Blaze, back up, back up. He's asleep. Oh, he's asleep. All right. All right, everybody, get ready. Can I get him? I can get him from back here. Yeah. <laughs> we got the One, side. Two. Everybody. Wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Here we go. Everyone, everyone say Sherbert. Sherbert. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and there we go. And there we go. And we got a single place over here. <laughs> and we got a single shot of place. <laughs> All right, everybody, jump real quick. Jump up and down. Be super happy. Jump up, jump up, get jump down. down. Jump up. How is he able to sit and jump? That's a very oh, powerful Oh, now Blaze button. wakes up. <laughs> All right, do one more group shot. We got now we got Blaze. We're gonna do one more group shot because Blaze is here. I want to go erase all the pens. Okay. The pens oh, there's a the dressing room. We have a dressing room now. Is it behind the screen? Clear. <clears throat> Clear all. Reset all. Yeah, behind the screen is you can hide back here and nobody can see you. Oh, that's the dressing room. That's awesome. All right, everybody. That's the interrogation room. What are you talking about? Oh, that's the private room. I'm digging the the little fox, the blue fox with the sunglasses. He's fun. Hey yo. That's Hex Hot Dog. I'm going to take one more picture with the name tags. Okay, got y'all. All right. Yay, there we go.
Thank you very much. Well, before we split, if we can get um, just the audio, maybe, because uh, Stargazer is taking a little visual break. If we can get the audio of Stargazer back, because we got to ask him a couple of questions. Um, mostly the words to live by and the magic eight ball. Can well, he, he was going to come up with a couple puppets, I believe. And so he offers him the water. And so nice. Now and remember, you something like this, you can commission these from me. And how do they get in touch with you? Uh, they can either message me on you, uh, Twitter oh, or he's on Telegram. Cuddle puff. Oh, that looks nougaty. Got it. Okay, and Stargazer, if someone wants to find your stories, where do they go one more time? They want to go to either Fur Affinity, Ink Bunny, or So Furry. Got it. And, and search Max Goof, correct? Max Goof on Fur Affinity, uh, Max D. Groot on Ink Bunny, and Dipper on So Furry. All right. I do remember that name. Akalar, you got anything you want to sign off with? He was showing us his nougaty balls. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. But he probably put the other half in his mouth already. He's sitting there over there chewing on it. <laughs> and Stargazer, you should reach out to me. You should get a fable or a nursery rhyme. Oh. Yeah, and if you have any artwork, if you want to do any artwork of uh, Stargazer's characters, please get in touch with him. He'd be more than happy. He would yes, be please. very thankful. Mm -hmm. He's got a lot of uh, stories he needs uh, illustrated. Um, okay, at Kalar, you want to say anything? Thanks for having me. Sure. Thanks for, like, thanks for being here, dude. Um, Oni, how about you? Yeah. Just be awesome. That's be awesome. Be awesome. KP? Oh, now we got to try this first. Stay healthy, stay safe. Yeah. Keep, keep joy in your heart. Every day is a new adventure. All right. Twitch chat, we love you. Thank you so much for playing along. Chaos Lounge, you're fantastic. Taxi out there, wake up. Sleep. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody. Good night. See you in the next two weeks. Two weeks.